Until a few years ago, vehicles were protected by the door locks and the ignition switch, which usually locked the steering column and isolated the battery. But faced with the increase in vehicle theft, manufacturers then developed systems which prevented the engine of the vehicle from operating. These electronic systems cut off the ignition or the fuel supply to the engine. They're known as immobilizer systems and will be explained in detail in the lessons that follow. An immobilizer system is a coded system which renders the engine inactive for anyone who does not have the key. An immobilizer should not be confused with an alarm. An alarm is an electronic system of protection against break-in, giving sound or visual warning signals in the event of an intrusion. An immobilizer system does not prevent a person from breaking into a vehicle, but prevents the engine from operating, either via the fuel injection computer or, in the case of a diesel, via the solenoid valve. An immobilizer system always comprises the following four components. The transmitter, the receiver, the decoder, the injection system. Diagrams of these components will appear on the screen to give you a better understanding of the way they operate. You can use the mouse to move the cursor over the components in order to view different examples. In this course, we will concentrate mainly on the operating principles of the transmitter, the receiver and part of the decoder. The operating principles of the decoder and the injection system will be covered in greater detail in the Immobilizer course Level 2. Before going any further, we will give precise definitions of certain terms relating to the key. The key is the combination made up of the metallic insert and the key head. The metallic insert is a mechanical component used mainly for manual locking and unlocking of door locks, turning on the ignition and starting the engine. The key head is an electronic component which serves the immobilizer system. Depending on the level of specification, it can contain a remote control mechanism. The remote control mechanism enables the door locks to be locked and unlocked from a distance. You have undoubtedly already used a remote locking system and know how to operate it. We will outline the principle on which it works. It's important to realize that the immobilizer system is sometimes connected to the remote locking mechanism. For this reason, we will look first at the operating principle of a remote locking system. As you proceed, a series of pictures will appear on your screen representing the key features of the system being studied. Here is the first picture which represents the remote locking mechanism. In this diagram we can see the four components. The transmitter, in this case the remote control mechanism which has the code ABCD. The receiver. The decoder which holds the ABCD code in its memory. The fuel injection system which, since there is no immobilizer system, operates independently. Using the mouse, click on the remote control command button to unlock the doors. When the remote control command button is pressed, an infrared signal corresponding to the code is sent by the transmitter. The receiver receives the infrared signal and converts it into an electrical signal. The electrical signal is sent to the decoder. The decoder converts the electrical signal into a code. It compares the code received to the one held in its memory. If the two codes match, the decoder instructs the doors to unlock. The driver can open the door and get behind the wheel. This picture represents the infrared signal sent by the key to the receiver. The process is exactly the same for locking the doors. You can look at this whole sequence again by clicking on Repeat. You can repeat the simulation of this operation by clicking on the Remote Control Command button. When you have finished, click on Next.
As you have seen, the code transmitted by the key is always the same. In this example, it is ABCD. This is known as a system that operates with a fixed code. This picture represents a fixed code. Each vehicle, of course, has a unique code. We will now see what happens when a key with a different code is used. This key belongs to another vehicle. You can see that the code contained in the remote control is different. EF GH. Click on the remote control command button to see it in operation. The code is sent to the receiver and then to the decoder. It is compared to the code held in the memory, but the two codes do not match. Unlocking is impossible. We have come back to the vehicle we started with. The key and the decoder contain the same code. Click on the key to start the engine. The color yellow indicates that the ignition is on. As we have said, this system does not have an immobilizer system. It is therefore still possible to start the engine. On the system that we have just seen, the key contains a remote control mechanism. The remote control mechanism sends an infrared signal. The remote control mechanism locks and unlocks the door locks. The remote control mechanism has a fixed code. If a code from another remote control system is received by the decoder, unlocking does not take place.